So the plan is to make this bracket, which I found on the internet. This is something you can buy. I'm going to try and make this myself. So I'm going to. This is a bracket for the for a blinker here. So it will attach on this point, move back, and then come forward over here, so we can stick the blinker behind the shock. As you all know metal is pretty expensive so everything all the scraps these are the bigger pieces that I keep I've got like another bin over here with all the smaller pieces that's worth a lot of money <laughs> I decided to use this piece this is license plate that came with the first DS it's a nice thick piece of metal so I'm gonna cut two strips out of this I may just use part of this because it's just such a nice fit. And this fits perfectly. If you like my videos, please do subscribe to my channel. Hit the thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks. came out pretty nice I think so this is for uh, the other side this one there you go now all I have to do is make a hole in here so I can attach the uh, blinker it should work
these are the uh, little brackets I've made on which I will mount the blinkers from scrap and even though they didn't quite come out that I that I planned they're a little bit different as you can see the big problem I had was that they didn't clear the top of this shock um, so I would have to bring it a lot closer to the uh, to the rear wheel and I didn't really like that in the end it came out good but it's, I've got two choices downwards I put the shock here in line with the shock um, or like that so then you've got this line going uh, or if I swap them around uh, you've got like this it will be more upright well I see now So then it would be like this. Mm. Oh, this is clumsy. No, I have to do the other one. I prefer that. So it's either going to be like this, so in line with the frame, or like that, so more in line with the shock. I think if I make it black, it will completely disappear from the shock. And I have to make something to stop it from moving around. The reason I built these is because I don't want to draw anything into this lovely shell. So if I don't like it, I can always replace it with something else. But I think if I paint them, they'll be fine. All right, so I'm just going to clean these, prime them, and then uh, Get some paint on it. got these blinkers which I bought from uh, Cafe Raver web shop um, which I'm affiliate for if you buy anything from them and you use my link I'll get a small fee uh, but you don't have to uh, just buy what you need and the best option for you the thing I was looking for were was like small small lights and LED because LED is just bright uh, they don't break as easily as normal lights do so let's have a look see how that will work out so do it like that run it through this I think I'm gonna place uh, the bolt that came with it with a bolt like this with that little um, piece of plastic in there the light is in it's nice and close to the shock so I'm really good just needs a little protection over here these wires but that would be okay so I'm liking this you can see that the black is doing a lot for it I'm just gonna add a battery to this and uh, see how it looks
There's the light. That's enough. This is the end product. And of course, you can chill, still change that. And do like this. So I really like this. I think I, I, I'm gonna protect these wires with some uh, like a, a special tape. Where have I forgot it? Over here. Here we go. Got this adhesive tape. Um, so I'm gonna wind this around this as soon as I've got this wired in. Um, that will protect it. Okay, so that was today's video about the uh, blinkers and the uh, brackets I made for them uh, from scrap. I just want to make this video to show you how easy it is to make things on your own. You don't have to buy them. Now, if I'm going to use these brackets, yes or no, I don't know. We'll have to see. But at least they do what they need to do. I really like these blinkers. They're really small. They were cheap as well because I'm building this bike at a budget so every choice I make it's it's at a budget um, I want to sell this bike I'm not going to keep this one so with that being said if you like my channel please subscribe but if you like my channel it will also mean that you like building these kinds of bikes customizing those in your shed please please if you haven't already started do it today you will love it take your time and enjoy building of these bikes enjoy the fact that you are learning how to do this as I am and enjoy the community that is behind a lot of builds like myself there are a lot of guys working and maybe girls in their sheds doing these things and as soon as the building is done let's go out there and ride these motorcycles because otherwise this motorcycle would have been scrapped and that would be a, a goddamn shame so subscribe, like, ride your motorcycle. Cheers for watching. Bye bye.